Okay, so let's create the directories that we need for our MVC application. This will pretty much give you a good idea of how everything fits together and how everything works if you are new to the MVC pattern. Let's start to create directories then. We need to first of all think where we need to actually start in this application and instead of this just being within this MVC directory I want to create a new folder and call this public and this is where your uh, users are going to land so this will be the root directory to your application and this will contain the bootstrap file so within public you also might want to have maybe some CSS or JavaScript directories you know something like that so we'll create a CSS directory for now just as an example now the only other folder you need in your root directory is an app folder. Now this app folder basically contains all of the folders like controllers, the core, so the application and controller core, uh, the models and the views, and also the initialization file which will actually include um, you know, the useful core functionality in. So within this app folder, let's now create all of the uh, folders we need. So we've got core. Core is going to store application and controller uh, basically core functionality so your app will be the what what uh, is instantiated within your bootstrap file and this will give you um, the URL splitting or the routing which we'll cover later and this will also then handle your controllers so it will uh, choose the correct controller as we've already seen in the demo and that will go ahead and do the rest of the, the stuff so we'll obviously look at this later the next thing we need is controllers. So we have a controllers folder and what this is going to do is uh, basically hold files, so just normal PHP files like home.php or forum.php or whatever and this will be your basically be your controllers. Uh, we've also got models, so these will be your models and we also want a views folder as well. So let's create that now. So views are just going, going to be your uh, what, what you output to your user. So here I'm going to create a home folder because we're going to be creating a default home controller which will always be rendered regardless of whether a controller and a method's been selected via the routing. Um, the routing system we're using very very simple but we'll handle that later. So that's pretty much it for our entire structure. So what's going to happen is your users are going to land in your public directory so here and within here you're going to have an index.php file and we're going to be building the bootstrapping in the next part that will then call a new application um, instance basically an object which will be stored in here and that will then subsequently read the URL if it's available and it will render the right controller or, or call the right controller which will go and render a view and obviously within your models directory you're going to have models that are just available to use um, and uh, you can go ahead and do whatever you want in them so in the next part we'll look at actually bootstrapping this